Hello everyone! How are we all? How are you guys doing? I have randomly decided to pick up the camera today and vlog. Don't ask me why. Sorry, I want to kind of put you guys down so I can talk to you. Hey yeah, guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I have randomly decided to vlog um, today. I don't know why, I just really enjoy vlogging and I kind of want to break up a couple of the haul videos that I have coming up. I have some more like personal chatty videos because this is my favourite style of video to actually film. So, I am just getting myself all glammed up low and locked down this is the first time i've got like this glammed up because i want to go outside and take some pictures because it's snowing oh my gosh does anyone else feel like a kid when it snows so yeah it is really really snowing where we are um and i just think they make the most gorgeous photos when everything is just crisp and white and lovely and snowy so i've got a couple of outfits i want to try and take some pictures in as well as film some tick um not tiktok some reels it is a sunday i normally have a bit of a chill out sunday but i just think this is such a good opportunity to get content hence that's what the plan is i'm just doing my hair I clipped in some of the um beauty works clip-ins i used to have a discount code for beauty works i don't know if that code is still active i'll ask one of the girls and find out and then i'm using my beauty works molly may curler which if you have really long hair um which my natural hair is not really long but if you do have long hair this is the best curler because the barrel is super long so it means you can curl right to the ends of the hair i know for some people if they've got long hair the barrels are never long enough so we really do recommend this for longer hair and it does create really nice like soft curls i kind of flip between this and my foxy locks curler which i love as well it's like a rose gold curler and it comes with loads of different barrels but i do actually really like this because i think it gives a more softer um kind of feel to the curl which i quite like so yeah i'm gonna plan a couple of outfits that i want to go outside and take some cute pictures in similar to my everyday makeup i just decided to do a little bit of gold eyeshadow and then for my lip liner i've just used the nyx liner in the shade los angeles zero uh los angeles 2.0 so it's a little bit darker than usual but i do quite like it and then for my gloss i'm just going to go over it with the um charlotte tilbury pillow talk gloss which is one of my absolute fave glosses it has like this really nice glossy shimmer to it i love it uh so that will be the lip combo and yeah and this is just my makeup i feel like i don't do enough makeup videos on this channel but i'm not like a professional makeup so i never want to come on and sort of show it because i'm don't credit myself on being a professional whatsoever i was supposed to wash my hair but then when i saw it was snowing i was like what is the point in that miss these kind of vlogs i know they're not quite the same because no one can go anywhere but i still am loving watching vlogs at the minute and i'm watching so much youtube at the moment i feel like my love for youtube has been like revigorated or something so yeah i'm loving it i need to actually show you guys the snow so i don't know how well you guys can see on my camera because it's going super blurry but that is the snow let's open the window yeah amazing hey guys so apologies for the not so glamorous um attire i've currently got on and also for the kind of jump jumping around this vlog i didn't actually vlog too much yesterday because obviously it was such a snowy day we kind of just took some pictures and that was that i have just moved over to my phone because i come up for a little walk and i thought Do you know what i want to bring you guys with me i didn't want to bring my big camera but i wanted to bring you with me on my walk so i've just driven the reason I've driven to the place where I'm going to walk is because I can't really walk down my road. It doesn't have a pavement or like a sidewalk. So it's a bit dangerous. Actually, like it's like a minute drive to like a woodland. So I'm going to walk around here. Obviously it snowed yesterday and it kind of went a little bit icy. So I was a bit nervous to drive, but it was fine. My car is like the best thing to drive in the snow. I've, I've never driven it in the snow, so I wasn't sure how it was going to go. But yeah, this Jeep. I'm not gonna lie, it served me pretty well this morning. Huge shout out to my Jeep because so far it's served me pretty well and there was a lot of ice on the road. So yeah, I'm very happy. Um, I'm gonna go on a little walk. I'm gonna put on a podcast. This has been so good for me mentally since obviously recovering from COVID. Coming out and about and having some fresh air and going on a walk has been so good for me physically and mentally. I cannot recommend it enough. So if you haven't yet come out on a little walk, I really, really recommend it. I think it will just, you'll be so shocked at how beneficial it is to your mental health. Anyway, 
uh that rant's over i want my woolly hat my gloves and we're gonna go i'll show you guys around it is seriously like black ice around here like the kind of ice that you can't really see and then next minute you have landed on your bum it is so icy so i'm trying to just walk on the snow but it is beautiful i'll spin the camera around and show you guys and i just i already feel better for coming out and getting some fresh air um this is definitely not the most fashion forward outfit i've got a sports top on a sports zip up this polo fleece and then this puffer jacket, which is my grandpa's. So if my girlfriend and grandpa are watching from Spain, thanks grandpa, I've stolen your gilet for the last couple of days <laughs> because it keeps me nice and warm. And then I've just gotten some Gymshark leggings and some wellies. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. Let me spin the camera around. Here we go guys. So I'm walking on this bit instead of that because that to me just looks like a recipe for absolute disaster. Um, especially me being the world's most crummy person. It is so pretty here, look. It's just so snowy and lovely. And it's my favorite place to come walking um, because it's always so peaceful and quiet and just, yeah, I put on a good podcast. I'm gonna put on a little motivational one this morning. And yeah, it's so lovely. Oh my God. Wow, guys, I'm like the only person here. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm feeling good. And the sun is out, guys. The sun is out. If any of you have followed me for a while, you'll know the sun affects my mood so much. So it can be freezing cold like this, but if the sky is blue and the sun is out, then I am instantly, instantly in a better mood. I don't care how cold it is, as long as I see that sunshine, I feel it on my skin. Ooh. This is my current look, however. Um, I think I've been far more stylish at other points in my life this is up there with one of the most interesting outfits of the day but you know practicality is key i've got my airpods in and my hat over the top my sunnies on and then this right up to the top to be honest i could have done with another couple of layers but i didn't realize it was actually this cold out but oh my god it feels so good to be out i think i'm gonna put on i'm listening to, to some happy hits spotify playlist for happy hits I think I'm going to put on Fern Cotton's um, podcast about positive thinking, happiness. Because honestly, I've not been feeling 100%. I've actually been feeling really crap, but I know everyone has. So, you know, I don't want to come in here and say, woe is me, I'm feeling like shite. We're all feeling a little bit crap, aren't we? Um, but I am finding, you know... I think I find my job an escape and I love my job and I love vlogging and doing Instagram. But the last couple of weeks, I've actually seen it be such a horrible place. Um, I wasn't actually gonna talk about this, but I want to, so let's talk about it. God, I don't know who can take me seriously looking like this. Like, if you're taking me seriously right now, then props to you. I love how we're gonna have deep chats while I look like this. Yeah, I am such a fan of social media and all those things. But to be honest with you, the last, couple of weeks I've just I've really hated it I've really found it a really negative like place to be and space to be in and I'm finding that sorry, there's a couple walking past me probably think I'm an absolute lunatic yeah so like I've just found it not a great place lately I think everyone is a bit frustrated and angry and I feel like it's coming out on social media which you know I totally understand people's frustration I think it's a little bit difficult sometimes for me and some of my friends just because I think a lot of people have a platform on social media because maybe they've been on a TV show or they've done reality TV, which is obviously absolutely fine and work it, you know. I would do the same if I went on a TV show and suddenly got a huge following. Like, I think anyone would try and build off that. So, total respect. But I think at the same time, um, what it's done is it's kind of put everyone into one big pot of influencer. Um, one big melting pot when to be honest with you I do think there are different I'm gonna take these off because I can't even I can't even cope with myself right now there are different influences so what I mean is is I think there's people that maybe will do add to things that some people wouldn't do and then there are people that go out and they shoot content in the week and they try their best to link an affordable version of something for you guys and they they want you guys to be their friends 
So I definitely think there's like a definitive um, distinction, sorry, between those two groups of people. And I think sometimes, unfortunately, they all get put into like one big pot of the same person. And I think those people are very different. Um, and I've just also, I think I've just seen it be just so negative. I mean, so many people at the moment are getting negativity. I don't think, I think I'm allowed to say this because she posted it publicly, but I recently saw the Aisha from Aisha and Zelia wanted to take a little bit of time off social media um, because she was a little bit overwhelmed and I really empathised with that. I really understood where she was coming from. There are days where I just want to break and I want to be completely off the internet. But then at the same time, I remember all those amazing people that constantly write me such kind things. Oh God, she's going to fall over while she's having this deep chat, lol. Yeah, and then I kind of remember all the amazing people that follow me. Like, honestly, I don't know what I did to get so lucky and I do think it's the best, it is the best job in the world. Like, this is my dream job. So I can't ask for anything better. But I just think, yeah, the last couple of weeks I've just seen Instagram and YouTube in particular just kind of get a little bit negative. And I'm not normally one that cares about negative comments, to be honest. I've got quite thick skin and, you know, water truck off a duck's back and if that's the biggest worry that I have then I always think take it with a pinch of salt and not everyone's going to like you which is okay but I think when you're already feeling a little bit crappy and then maybe you get like four or five negative comments in a day and it's it can be difficult so yeah everyone's struggling at the moment I think that's just coming out a lot and being projected on social media because it's the place where people can go to vent yeah that's just my little my little chat I guess have you guys found that have you found that maybe like your Facebook pages or your Twitter accounts or wherever you go online have you found it's been a little bit more negative or would you say no it's like the same as it's always been are we am I getting too sensitive I just want to know you guys' opinion I love having conversations with you guys about things um that are more than just like fashion and beauty I love talking to you about like your genuine thoughts on things and in the world in your daily life so yeah i'd love to know you know i think taking all that into consideration what we all need to remember is that we're still lucky to all have our jobs there are so many people during this pandemic that have lost their jobs so i feel super grateful that i can still work i think it's just you know it's just getting used to i think unfortunately the more you grow the more negativity you get so i think it's just getting used to having a bit more negativity and I don't know. It's a shame because I think when Instagram and YouTube and all those platforms started out, they were so authentic. And I think because no one was doing it at that point for a job, people were just uploading online because they wanted to for the fun of it. It was definitely a more welcoming space versus now. I think it's got a little bit more, um, what's the word? It's got a little bit more controversial, you know, um, and people's personal lives, they put so much online that fortunately I think it opens them up to a host of criticism. And I think that's why I'm so guarded. That's why I don't put so much online because I am really fearful of that. I'm really fearful of people critiquing those that haven't asked for it. So I can deal with it. I mean, I, I signed up for this job. That's kind of how I look at it. But I, I do have empathy, you know, for people that want to put maybe their boyfriends or their kids or their mum. And then people will comment like, oh, she doesn't seem like she really likes you and, or, oh, he seems like he's only with her for X, Y, Z and it's all this speculation. So I think it's difficult sometimes to have your personal life picked apart at the hands of people that don't know you. I think I was lucky in that when I had COVID, I kind of indirectly got a break. So obviously I could not physically film. I was barely uploading on Instagram. Uh, I was still on social media, I was still looking at people's posts, but it definitely gave me a, a big break and I think for me, that was just the best thing mentally. But just anyway, I'm just, I think what I'm trying to say is if you need a break from social media, take one. You know, if you feel like I am negatively impacting you on Instagram or I am negatively impacting you here on YouTube, as much as I want you guys to follow me and be engaged with me and watch my content and stuff, I care more about your mental health. If your mental health is like not in a good place to follow someone like me, then please don't. I think a lot of us would say the same thing. The last thing we want to do is um, make any of you guys feel crap. And I think unfortunately in this job, everything is just kind of glamorized. You, you see like an eighth of someone's reality. So you might see like great pictures of me, you know, out and about, but I could literally be laying in bed feeling like crap. So, it is a weird one. Oh, that was a rant. Anyway, I'm going to go back to my um, podcast. 
and carrying on my walk. My face is very, very cold, but it's gorgeous here. I hope you can hear me, sorry. I've been, I've had this glove on, so I hope I haven't been covering the microphone. And also the wind is blowing at like top speed. So I hope that you can still hear me. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Missing off my walk. Oh, look at these horses. How amazing is that? Oh. I don't know why I feel like I've been on a walk for a while. I've been on this walk for like over an hour. I feel all like, and I've been listening to like emotional songs. I feel all emotional and I'm not like that, trust me. I'm an Aquarius, I can't deal with emotions. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, I think I just, I mean, I'm really learning to appreciate the little things. Actually, I know, I know a lot of people are struggling with this third lockdown and I know we feel like we've been in this forever, but I finally feel like I'm learning to appreciate the little things. And this is amazing. I feel really lucky that I could come outside, breathe in the fresh air, that I'm fit and able to do that. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling a lot of gratitude today. How amazing are these horses? And as I thought, I always, <laughs> I used to go horse riding when I was small, um, up until the age of maybe like, was it 14 or 13 or 14? And then I stopped. Um, and I wish I'd carried on actually, because it's one thing now that I wish I was still doing. So I really regret that. Um, last year, when this whole thing started back in, sorry, can you guys see me? Sorry about the lighting. I can't get over this look I've got on. Like, it's just the most hysterical look I've ever come on the internet in, but I don't even care anymore. Um, yeah, when this whole thing started back in um, March of 2019, I was going to um, start ice skating lessons. So that was my kind of plan to start ice skating lessons and I had booked them at a place near me. Me and my mum were gonna go and have like an intense course of lessons because I've always wanted to do that. And then literally COVID struck. So I haven't been able to do that, but I am desperate as soon as I can to um, start that again, to start ice skating. So yeah, hopefully when this ends, That'll be something I can do and I can bring you guys with me. Hello vlog, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to record tonight's dinner because it's a little bit more exciting than usual. This is not an ad by the way. My mum actually have, has purchased this little meal situation. What's it yeah. called? Gusto? Gusto. Gusto, right. Okay, so this is this is what it is. It's a little bit like the Hello Freshes, the there's loads of them going around where you can like kind of pre-order like a week's worth of food or can you do less than a week or just a week? Oh, you can do two days, two days. days and can you change the people? Days. Like, could you do it as a, yeah, could you do it as a it... single household? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Or, or is it just because I've always wondered that because I would want to do it. But then if you live on your own, I don't know. Have a look. Yeah, you can do it for like different members of like how many people are in your house and stuff like that. Essentially everything gets dropped off to you and everything is categorized into a meal with all of the ingredients. So for tonight's meal, sorry, my sister's just gonna pass me the thing. Um, we are going for these, which is the plant-based bacon cheeseburger with fancy fries. So this is what it should look like at the end. We'll see. We currently have got some caramelizing of the onions about to occur. So I'll try and film, sorry for me. So, oh, so I'll try and film what I can and I'll just speed it up. It came with all this stuff, as you guys can see here. I'll let you know our thoughts at the end. I know a lot of people work with a lot of these companies, so it'll be interesting to see what we all make of it because we are not sponsored, we are paying customers. So we are. we'll see what but we if think. if we like it, but we're if, happy to work with of you. Of course, so. and if we don't like it, we'll let you know. So here we go. Pinch of sugar and cook for one to two minutes. Hey guys, how are you all? Back kind of vlogging again. I feel like I should sort of not finish this vlog but i think today i'm gonna finish it i know it hasn't been the most 
exciting. I, I think it's difficult at the moment, obviously, with being in a lockdown to make vlogs exciting. But I feel like this one has been a little bit of a rant and a catch up. I think I just miss having little catch ups and chats with you guys. So I felt like this was the time to kind of get it all off my chest. I did pop on a new foundation today, which at the time of applying, Let's stand here so you guys can see a bit better. I had to get some good light. At the time of applying this foundation, I flipping loved it. It's the NARS Luminous something or that. It's like made my skin so oily. Firstly, can we see all of this that's going on at the moment? I don't know what's happening. I need to drink more water. I need to just be better to my skin. I don't know what's going on, but this is what we're dealing with. It's the least of my concerns, to be honest with you. I feel like bad skin right now. Honestly, who cares? No one can see me anyway. But yeah, I did really like it. And now it's kind of gone patchy in areas. It's gone a little bit dewy in other areas. I'm kind of sad. I thought this was going to be my new favourite foundation, but I'm not loving it from NARS. And I love NARS. I'm like a NARS fan. Like I buy their products all the time. So this is a bit sad. But I'm going to make some lunch. I've got loads of admin to do today. So that's basically what today is. Hence not really vlogging because it's so boring for you guys. Just got to edit my Zara haul and sort a couple of bits out. But yeah, it's really not overly exciting for you all um so i think i'm gonna check in tonight when i'm cooking dinner and hopefully that will spice things up a little bit make it a bit more interesting you know i haven't really vlogged today because i've honestly just been doing work and admin and very boring things however we're here for another gusto meal i did try and show you last night's one but i didn't have my camera like my camera died as i filmed it so i'll show you tonight Okay, so this is tonight's meal. Sweet and sour crispy tofu with rice. There are the ingredients. Okay. Here's our tofu that we prepared earlier. Yeah. That looks lovely. A lot of tofu, I love tofu. And this is what's going on here. We've got pineapple going on. Yeah. Ginger. Garlic, peppers. Wow. Spring onions. Wow, little chef. I know. Oh. Oh. We'll tell you guys what we think of it. Last night's was really nice, by the way. So far, kind of enjoying this. I feel like it saves us a lot of wastage of food. So we're quite bad with that, if I'm just being honest. Um, so I think this would be quite good for some people. I was going to say something you else. You can't do it for one, though. You know, you were saying last night. It's can't do it for a single household. No. Not a lot of them do it for single households. You can do it for two. Kind of, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, maybe if you like live with someone, like most people probably do. But or I was just was thinking like about... Portions. Oh, like big portions, exactly. <laughs> also, just wanted to check in. I'm just so upset about this foundation situation. So I bought this um, new foundation, the NARS one, thinking it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really dewy. I can't stand it. Like, look at my skin, guys. Like, here where I've got, like, spots, it's all wiped away. Here it's, like, oily, and I don't have oily skin. I don't know what's going on. Here we go, everyone. Here we go. Done a pretty good job, you know. Mmm. Excited. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Chef. The tofu is very good. Isn't it? Crispy. Think, are we all impressed? Yeah, it's really nice. Mm. Hello, oh. I'm Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, but I am loving oh. that. Right, hi vlog. So I've been gone for a few days, my sister's here. Hello. You're probably thinking what the heck is going on, which would be rightly so, has she cut her hair? Is this a new look? <sighs> Mm -hmm. Now I just put it in this little kind of bob moment. Basically, I really wanted to film the reel that is trending at the moment, which is like the runway reel. So like you're sat down and like you are clapping and you got the sunnies on, you know, that, that well, one. Now I can hear from, from my room, you just go like this. <laughs> just like this. So basically, I really wanted to film that. So that is what I've spent most of the day doing, actually. This is my Chanel look. This bit of bow keeps falling on my face which is really irritating but yeah this is my Chanel look obviously let's actually have this as the thumbnail obviously this is not mine this is my mum's um hence me being petrified of it because it's not actually my bag but it's so nice and it's really creating the lust in me for the Chanel classic flap I cannot lie I've spoken about it a couple of times on my channel I'm in love with this bag. I just cannot deal with the constant um, price increases of Chanel. This bag now retails, this one actually retails for even more money, but the size down from this now retails for five and a half grand. I was gonna buy it for myself for my birthday. I was gonna go to Paris, that was the plan. Obviously that didn't happen, which now I'm kind of like, is that a sign? Because this bag is just crazy. 
but I'm loving this whole look. I'm vibing this whole look. I will leave a link below to my Instagram. I would love it so much. If you're watching this vlog, if you could go over to my Insta and comment on the reel, let me know you came from the vlog maybe. I just think that could be kind of fun. I did three looks. I was meant to vlog all of the different looks, but me being me, I completely forgot to pick up my camera. So I did a Gucci look, which is kind of like Harry Styles vibes. Prada, which is kind of easy, the Prada one. And then I've just done the Chanel one. I do want to do a fourth look. I was thinking of Chloe, but I'm a little bit lost with what to actually do for my outfit. So I'm going to go plan my outfit and finish filming this reel. Welcome back to the vlog. Sorry, I've kind of been chopping and changing in this video. I just haven't been doing enough to make it entertaining for you guys. And I finally feel like today I'm doing a couple cute fun things like filming this. And then I know me and my sister. Are you going to come back out, honey? I know we want to go and film. Yeah. Film? Uh, Sorry. I was going to say, I, oh wait, the camera. <laughs> the camera's here. Sorry, I can't, oh, I can't put oh the camera, God, there's no way to put the, the camera. That's, do you know what yeah. I mean? Um, we want to get the little moons. We want to get the called? little moons, yeah. I really, you know in Selfridges they actually have, I think their food court's open because they've got a whole like little no, moon chill, chill. section, they've got a whole little moon. Oh, they've and you seen can, it like, on TikTok. All the flavours you want. The passion fruit looks lovely. Apparently like, I. I've seen TikToks of people like ranking the flavours. I've seen people going to try and get them and then being out of stock. Oh, That's a major concern of mine. So we, we are going to get the Little Moons and mm. try them out tonight. So if you want to see our thoughts on those, keep on watching. But yeah, it's just been a very boring vlog because we've not really, obviously like most of you guys, really we've not been doing a lot. Moons, so this this is is like the small the things in life. It's the small things in life. <laughs> but yeah. like not enough has been going on that's been entertaining. Also, why am I still wearing these gloves? <laughs> I can't take you. I can't take you seriously with that hair though. Honestly, I know this keeps falling. It's really annoying. That was meant to be like kind of tucked about underneath. What you mean the bob? You mean the bob? Yeah. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I it's know really, never, it's never, really. ever to cut my hair this short. <gasps> oh my god! How did look you at do it. That? Oh, it's very Coco Chanel though. I know it's because I think it's because. <laughs> <laughs> You look like... And I wore these shoes. Yeah. I mean, come on. Oh, wow, though. Brilliant. You had the bag in it. That's amazing. Had the bag in it, yeah. Oh, God. This is I, just, just amazing. I was just talking to him about it. And then we just used this bag as well for the Gucci one. This makes me really want one of these jumbo, like, We could do this as a thumbnail. So clickbait. <laughs> what, as if we just bought, bought like, them. these designer bags? But this one I did for the Gucci one. I still love this bag. I think mm. this will actually be more iconic than people think. Because I think the Gucci canvas yeah. will always stay relatively fashionable. Yeah. I know it comes and goes, but I do love this bag. They're great I mean, sizes, these two bags. bags though. Yeah, I was oh. talking about it. The, the size down from this now, the one I wanted to get with the gold hardware, is five and a half grand. Just take that around to take this that in. Side, so this is a bigger size. Yeah, so that's gone up. But obviously when this I bought it, it wasn't that expensive. Yeah. Like it's got, it was expensive, it. but not what it is now. Because. And then I was also stealing some of her Gucci shades. I've been stealing everything from everyone. Now I've got to do another look. Either Balenciaga or Chloe. Mm -hmm. Or Balenciaga and Chloe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've just been editing that reel and honestly reels are the best things to film but they take literally all day long to film and it's like a 15 second video so it's really annoying. Mum and sister have just made another one of the Gusto meals so I thought I would show it because we ordered it again. Again, this is not sponsored. My mum's just loving, loving the meals and we keep ordering them. So, so this is tonight's which is supposed to, well actually looks exactly the same as the thing they gave us. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, looks really good. Looks really good. Look, you wouldn't even know. Look at that. Me and Liv are going to go and we need to send a parcel and then we're going to go and get the, the, little, moon. the little moons. <gasps> I'm so excited. I want to try these little moons. It's so bad. Same. I want to get some like, the thing is I don't want to burn my tongue again. No, that's true. So maybe maybe give it a minute. Yeah. She just burned Because I burnt my tongue. Mini kick to it. It's great. Really nice. I like the pine nuts on top. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I'm, I've got a massive serving now. Yeah, but it's massive. all the... All the serving. Yeah. So, like, so big. Hi. Hi, I'm we're vlogging. We're vlogging. You're in control. Wow, we're going to get little moons. Which is so exciting because I've never <laughs> tried them. If these if these are bad, if we don't like them, this is going to be such an anticlimactic. No, but you know what? There's nothing else to do. Like, yeah, that's you true. Know. We're back. 
Little we moon. got the little moon. I'm not gonna lie, it, it was caused so funny a stir. Enough. Like we went there and we we're like, oh, like we saw like they had 24 boxes or whatever. Like, do you have any? She's like, no. Like, thought we were crazy. Mm. So like, nine people have asked for them. Like, no, we don't have them. And I was like, oh, it says 24 boxes. She's like, let me go and check out the back. And then this couple well, came. Well, this along. man was like, we yeah. saw these girls like walking. He's like, well, I've seen the them. girls with. It was like honestly from the back. Yeah. Um, and so we just kind of like you know we're chilling. Yeah. And she was like, okay, I'll go look out the back came back with like four boxes or whatever and everyone was going wild like these girls were like we want one yeah. and this couple was like we want one and then two of the people that worked at tesco were like oh my god i'm gonna queue up and buy them so they got in the queue and bought two boxes they're like little marshmallowy little things they're like oh my god, i've never had mochi before neither either. have i taste test oh my god they're really soft yeah i know <gasps> i think this is right Can I have one? Mm, I don't know if you'll like it. Why? I don't know if you'll like the outer layer. Why? It's a bit marshmallowy. But what is it? What is the outer layer? Mm. Like a donut. I'm not gonna lie, like they are re I really like them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like it's alive. <laughs> I like them. I really like the passion fruit. They're insane. It's like a marshmallowy. It's oh, chewy. It's just, we mm. The outside the is chewy. Mm. I'm going to be the first person out of all my friends to have had a little bit. No, they are incredible. Mmm, I love them. I'm going to conclude this vlog here. Mm. I hope you guys on enjoyed. On a very, very, very... Good on a very good note, on a positive vibe. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I think this section of the vlog might be coming in at the end sorry you can see my fridge because i'm using it as a tripod um at the end of like a kind of weekly vlog style video so there's probably going to be a ton of clips like all chopped up and super super random i hope you don't mind i hope you like this vlog anyway don't forget to hit subscribe check me out on instagram if you have um i will actually have a birthday vlog coming next week so yeah make sure you subscribe for that because that's a really fun just nice vlog video it's my 25th birthday hence all the balloons in the background um it was a couple of days ago now and yeah i just thought i'd do that as a separate video as a separate vlog but this vlog has kind of been a little bit more of a real week in my life mostly spent at home probably not that exciting for you and a little bit of like i don't know maybe not the most like uplifting i don't think it's been negative necessarily but it's not the most uplifting however i wanted to end it on a positive note i am so nervous um it is currently the 9th of feb so this vlog has got bits of footage from all over the shop and i'm going to speak on a zoom class for a local school so they're doing like um zoom calls about different careers so they've had i think like a vet come in they've had like a music producer person come in and just sort of talk about their careers what subjects they did at school give a little bit of a speech so they asked me to do that on zoom with the children i think they're quite young i think they're aged like 7 to 11 i am so nervous i honestly am not normally like that but i just feel like am i going to answer the right things is it going to be interesting for them is it going to be a bit boring so i thought i'd kind of bring you along a little bit so you could see some clips maybe from that zoom we will see i just know when i was younger like if i could have had a youtuber speak about being a youtuber i would have loved that kind of thing so i didn't want to miss out on the opportunity and i think it will be really really fun and it's actually probably going to be in hindsight one of the best things i've done with youtube um but i am just super super nervous i cannot lie to you guys so i'll tell you how that goes at the end um i thought it was a nice little thing to kind of end this sort of vlog on also this hairpiece i recently purchased from beauty works it's one of those like plaits very dramatic and very long but I've kind of been loving it and I think it's sort of protecting my hair a little bit because I'm not using any heat on my hair whatsoever and then I'm just putting it in this plait and I think I'm actually doing better things for my natural hair so I think it could be quite a good thing to use if you're at all wondering I used to have a discount code with beauty works but I don't know if I still do I'll find out I think I might have already said that in this video so yeah I think I got the 20 I'll try and link the exact one that I got I will link the exact one that I got it's in Scandinavian blonde but I just think it's helping me with my hair because I'm not using as much heat in my hair. Anyway, I'm going to be late. I've got to be on this call in 10 minutes. So I'm going to go downstairs, make a coffee. We're going to jump on the call. Wish us luck. 
Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on here and kind of finish up this vlog, but also sort of update you all on what happened with the school thing that I was talking about yesterday. It was super cute. I was gonna try and like film myself talking while I was on the Zoom call, but I actually couldn't because it was just like happening so quickly and like I was just, I couldn't set things up so that I could record myself, but it was super, super cute and I'm actually really glad that I did it. So yeah, that was actually really, really funny. I now have honestly like a thousand and one jobs to do. It's actually crazy. I am gonna like tease you all with a little bit of info. I have just received my giveaway item that I'm gonna be giving away on my Instagram on Sunday. So make sure you are following me on Instagram because come the 14th of um, Feb, Valentine's Day, I'm doing a huge giveaway on my Instagram. It's the biggest giveaway I've ever done. It's a really exciting item. I don't wanna tell you too much, but make sure you're following me over there if you wanna be in with a chance to win that item. And yeah, more to come on that like on Sunday, but I just wanted to like let you guys know because I'm not sure how long I'm going to run that competition. Maybe two weeks, maybe longer. We will see. I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it's kind of like an accumulation of loads of different clips throughout the last two, mo um, two months, two weeks. So it is a little bit here, there and everywhere, but I've just really missed vlogging and kind of chatting to you guys. So I wanted to kind of just like catch up. Um... Because yeah, I've really, I really, really missed that. Currently have these jeans on that I am obsessed with from Pretty Little Thing. They are coming in Sunday's video. So if you want to see like the fit of these jeans and why I love them so much, check out Sunday's video because I'm honestly obsessed with them. But yeah, I've got so many things to do today. I hope you're all doing well. I need to go and fix my hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm sure hopefully I will see you guys in my next one, um, which will either be Sunday or maybe I'll try and get something up before. We'll see, but have a fab day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.